Today in Review This Thing, we're going to film part two of the 410 TSS pattern test. So just a couple weeks ago, we showed you part one of our 410 TSS pattern test. For that test, we used a Mossberg 500 with a TrueLock turkey choke. So make sure you watch that video to see those results. Well, since that video, Robbie decided that it looked like so much fun, he wanted to get in on the action and possibly hunt with a 410 this year also. I didn't want to use the same shotgun Adrian was using because obviously if we're hunting together, I needed my own gun. So we picked up this CBA Scout that we've heard really, really good things about. And we had such a great response with part one, we thought it'd be really cool to do a patterning test with this gun. So this setup is a CBA Scout. It comes standard with the Jeb's extra, extra full turkey choke. And we have this brand new Hawk Vantage IR 1 to 4 by 20 turkey dot scope on it. This whole setup is completely new to us, so we're really excited to get to shoot it and get to use it. So excited, in fact, I've already claimed it and don't plan on letting Adrian shoot it at all. That's what he says. Maybe once. <laughs> like we asked on our last video, let us know your setup in the comments below if you turkey hunt with a 410 also. As far as parameters, we're pretty much going to do it exactly like we did part one. We used five rounds. In this video, we're going to use those same five rounds, but then we maybe picked up a couple more at the National Wild Turkey Federation Convention. This That's thing, enough this talking. Thing. Let's go shooting. Then we're going to start with the Apex Turkey Ninjas. We've got a couple of complete reviews on those from last year with a 20 gauge version, so we really wanted them in on the 410 version this year. Oh, wow. I'd say that's a dead turkey. You guys can see that's definitely a dead turkey at 20 yards. Very impressed with that. We're going to take it up here and count it, and we'll give you a count. 180 pellets in a 6-inch circle for Apex Ninjas at 20 yards. We know most people use a 10-inch circle, but we used a 6-inch circle on the last one. We figure a turkey's head is still less than 6 inches anyway. Next up is a Federal Heavyweight TSS 9-shot. Definitely seems like the Federals didn't do as good last time, but that's a pretty good pattern at 20 yards. So the, for the Federal number nine, 123 pellets in that six inch circle. Obviously not quite as many as the Turkey Ninjas, but still a dead turkey at 20 yards. Next up, we've got the Remington Premier TSS, number nine shot. Still a dead turkey at 20 yards, but not near as close of a pattern as I'd have wanted. I'd like to have a lot more pellets right there around his head. So the pattern on these Remingtons is really pretty spread out. We had a hard time finding the center, especially with a six inch circle. There's definitely less pellets in that six inch circle, but there's still a lot of pellets on the whole page. Next up, we're gonna use the Yoki Golden Turkey. And these are also a nine shot. That's a definitely a dead turkey. A lot tighter pattern than the last shot, but still not quite as tight as the ninjas. Let's count them up. 140 pellets in that six inch circle. Very impressed with that, considering this is a factory load instead of a hand load. Next up are the verdict shells. Last year we did a complete review on their 20 gauge version and we had really good results. So we wanted to include it in the 410 testing also. These did really good with the last video out of the Mossberg 500. Definitely excited to see how they're gonna do out of this scout. <laughs> it's just sick, isn't it? I'd say it did really good. That's a very tight pattern. I mean, you guys can obviously see the pink and the yellow is what we're looking for. That's a lot of pellets in there. Let's go count and see just how many. This one did pretty good in our last video also. So far, 207 is definitely the highest we've got. Still just amazed with the front of this and all the yellow and pink because that's pretty much right where it needs to be. So that's the same five loads that we did on our last pattern testing. Both of these next ones coming up are definitely new to us. This is the boss tom load. We've done some waterfowl hunting with boss shells before. I'm definitely excited to shoot these boss toms and see what they do. It might just be that they don't shoot as good out of that gun. That's definitely not quite as tight of a pattern as the other shells that we've had. Definitely not as many as I was hoping there would be. 83. The paper is still peppered with pellets, but just not as tight of a constriction. So next up is Viper ammunition. This is a nine and a half shot. I'm definitely interested to see how these compare to the other hand loaded ones. Oh, wow. Uh, 
can't even see the target anymore. Like you can't even see the turkey's head anymore. Just so you guys know, Viper ammunition is pretty nasty. Let's go count these up. I'm pretty, uh, I want to see how they compare. So newcomer, Viper ammunition really did pretty good. We've got 188 here on this one. I think that might be number two. If it's, it's definitely in the top three for sure. So looking through these from 20 yards, there's definitely a top three. Verdict had 207. The Viper came in at 188 and Apex Ninjas came in at 180. There's definitely a bottom three also. Remington's at 73, the Boss Toms at 83, and the Federal Nines at 123. Now we're gonna move everything out to 40 and shoot all seven of them again. Back to the Apex Ninjas. We're going out to 40 yards. Let's see how all of them do. Wow, that's definitely still a dead turkey at 40 yards. Obviously not as tight of a pattern, but we're also at 40 yards instead of 20 yards. So the Apex Turkey Ninjas at 40 yards, 64 pellets, and a pretty central pattern. Now on to the Federal Heavyweight number nines. Looks like we have a dead turkey. Pattern spreads out at 40 for sure compared to 20 on the Federals, but there's at least 11 pink shot on there, which is right where you want to be at. The pattern is definitely centered right over the turkey's head. Still a dead turkey but there's only 37 pellets in it. Now on to the Remingtons. That's quite a wide pattern. Not near as impressed with that as some of the others. We'll count them, but I don't think it's gonna be that hard to count them. So the Remingtons had 27 in that six inch circle, but I'm gonna turn it around and let you see it. The impressive part, based on this gun and the Hawk scope that we've got, the tightest part of the pattern is still right there on the turkey's head and it's still a dead turkey at 40 yards. Next up, Fiocchi Golden Turkey. We were really impressed with these at 20 yards, and I'm hoping it holds true at 40 yards. Oh yeah, still pretty good. It's not as many as I would want in that six inch circle at 40 yards with some of these other hand loads, but still really impressive. 42 pellets at 40 yards. Still not as impressive as I would want it to be, but dead turkey and the circle's right there on his head. Let's move on to the verdict. They were our winner at 20 yards. Let's see what they'll do at 40. Nah, that looks pretty good. Let's go count them up and see. Might be just a little bit low for that one, but that's still a lot of pellets right in the kill zone for sure. We've got 58 pellets in our six inch circle at 40. The interesting part is I'm pretty sure the number in a six inch circle in our first test was 88. So that could be my fault. Could be that just doesn't like this gun quite as much. I don't know, we'll see. Now we're back around to the newcomers. Here's the boss Tom. Oh man, dead turkey, but it sure did look like a lot more white from the scope. That one's gonna be tough to pick a center, but easy to count. These are pretty much on par with the uh, Remington and Federals, although just a little bit lower for sure. Now we're gonna stretch the other newcomer out to 40. This is the Viper ammunition. I definitely wanna see how many that is. It seems pretty tight. I mean, if you look at that 10 inch circle, that's a lot of pellets in the kill zone, and still got that six inch circle right on that turkey head and we got 61. Very impressed with the newcomer. We just finished up all the shots at 40. Let's do the bottom couple to keep you in suspense. The bottom one was 22 pellets out of the Boss Tom. The next one was 27 pellets out of the Remington. Then the top three actually were very close together. The top one, we had 64 pellets out of the Apex Turkey Ninjas. The second one, we had 61 pellets out of the Viper Ammunitions. And then we had 58 pellets out of our clear winner at 20 the verdicts. So all those top three very close together. So we were a little surprised, but we got home and looked at the numbers from part one and they were noticeably different. We contacted a few different people and we've got a couple of chokes coming for the CVA scout to see if we can get better numbers or at least match the numbers from part one would be nice. So you may want to subscribe. There's definitely a part three coming and part three is probably going to have a couple new loads in it as well. Very soon, we're also going to have a complete review on the CVA scout and a complete review on the Hawk Vantage scope. If you have any questions or comments, drop them below and stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching. Hey, thanks for watching our 410 part two video. While you're here, go ahead and watch part one, watch a ton of other videos, give them a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, share these videos with your friends, check out reviewthisthingtv.com and follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and check out our podcast. Thanks for watching.